Hi everyone and welcome back to our Junkature Regional Finals 2021, powered by RTE and supported by Creative Ireland. I'm Orla maris Tulin, and today we're going to be bringing you our North Regional Finalists. Yesterday we saw some outstanding creative work, so I cannot wait to see what's in store tonight. Grab your popcorn, sit back, relax and without further ado, here are the North Region Finalists. Lady of the High Wire has a circus theme throughout with the end design symbolising a ringmaster. Materials used include plastic fertiliser bags, twine, copper wire, crisp wrappers, upcycled shoes and a scrap of old clothes. Danu is inspired by the Celtic goddess of the forest and woodland animals. From using over 900 pine cones, conkers and even foliage that had fallen off trees, this natural beauty resembles the rebirth and renewal of nature. But let her fly symbolises the importance of expressing your true self and the journey of self-love. This design is made up of old curtains, bed sheets, monster cans and monster boxes. Inspired by RuPaul's Drag Race, Rainy Days is a fun, modern look made from cotton wool, old CDs, sweet wrappers, packaging foam, electric fence wire and a cardboard box all put together from hot glue and safety pins. Bedtime Stories was inspired by the damaging effects that fast fashion has on the environment. Branded plastic bags, flowers, piping, bed sheets and various other upcycled materials gave this design a stunning finish. The design team of Sugar Crash decided to reuse all their Christmas sweet wrappers to create this funky piece. The bottle tops came from a local bar restaurant while also incorporating bed sheets, cardboard and old jewellery. Paper Princess is a stunning design made up of books, cardboard, bed sheets, upcycled fabrics, newspaper and an old t-shirt. Halcyon Heist symbolises limitations and restrictions of the COVID-19 lockdown. The bodice was made from karate belts woven together to create a checkered pattern while also using materials such as an old embroidery hoop, old curtains and styrofoam. Buckle Up is influenced by steampunk style vintage clothing. Various car parts were used to create this incredible piece such as seat belts, airbags, car seat fabric and even gear six. The future is genderless, is half suit, half dress. Made of recycled clothing, old CDs, chicken wire, a lampshade and a milk cartons. This design diminishes gender norms and celebrates self-expression and pride. All packed up expresses excitement and joy for the good times to come. This comfy yet glamorous two-piece is made up of food packaging, upcycled body scrubbers, an old hairband, a curtain and 100 snack food bags. Put a lid on it was inspired by self-expression and freedom to be oneself, free from judgment. Using bottle caps, bailing twine and spray paint, this design evolved into a show-stopping piece. Ceruleum is made from outdated surgical equipment using mainly breast biopsy devices, which includes sharp needles in the headpiece with a dark and light tubing. White plastic trays were used on the skirt and shoulder along with knee replacement kits for the skirt.
Inside Out is a modern interpretation of what is located inside the body. Made from old ripped tights, stockings and pop socks, this unique design explores the collaboration of human anatomy and sustainable fashion. Exploring the idea of recycled fashion in a fantasy world, Spare Armour depicts how armour could be made from the discarded material of a knight. Made up of an accumulation of materials such as old books, discarded packaging and leftover clear plastic bags. The Lennon Monster symbolises an octopus and follows the overall theme of pollution in our oceans. This design team used old bottle caps, hair curlers, CDs, hangers, old bed sheets and paper mache tentacles. The semi-tinned classic is designed using mainly chicken wire, milk cartons cut into feathers and drink cans, all with a creative twist to achieve this stunning piece. Distant Dreams inspiration came during lockdown when many young people dreamt of escape to a freer world. This emotive design was created using multiple materials such as silage bags, electrical wire, sheep's wool, old magazines and cardboard. Another planet followed the theme of tackling loneliness due to the isolation digital devices have caused. Sourced from a local recycling centre, family and friends, this design is made up of wire sleeving, braided metal and various computer parts. Influenced by Alice in Wonderland, Espoir has been created from a range of recycled materials, including string, packaging foam, table placemats, table coverings, cardboard, and a form of protective plastic packaging. Florasian is a representation of the arts community during COVID-19. Using butterflies made from old books to symbolise coming out of cocooning and upcycled fake flowers representing our growth during these difficult times. Rose Garden is made from upcycled material such as bin bags, old curtains, old headbands and its overall team is littering and the permanent damage it can have on the environment. Flanders Field is influenced by the First World War, contrasting the delicate poppy against the strong soldier. To achieve their desired look, the design team also incorporated upcycled leather into their design. Ice Dover embodies a powerful ice queen. In order to produce this stunning design, a broken mirror, upcycled silk, cardboard, CDs and an old lampshade were creatively amalgamated together resulting in a show-stopping piece. Head Over Heels is an 80s themed flower power outfit intricately designed using old curtains, upcycled shoes, a broken umbrella, shoelaces and sweet wrappers. Disassociated society represents the consequences of social hierarchies with flowers portraying the inner beauty of individuals. 
This design includes plastic bottles, straws, broken jewellery, broken glass and a used notebook. Two Sides brings light to two major issues teenagers face today, mental health and global warming. To create this unique design, there was multiple materials used, such as tins, old wire, old children's dresses, and the tool of old wedding dresses. Single Use Cinderella is a princess style gown made out of single use plastics. This design team used old tarp for the skirt, old chicken wire for the headpiece and milk bottles for the butterflies, along with disinfected surgical masks and old plastic bags. Black Liberty took inspiration from the Japanese and comic culture. The overall theme, however, is a reference to the Statue of Liberty. This stunning piece is made using upcycled clothes, a construction lamp and a broken iPad. Kylock took influence from the designer's love of witchcraft and Irish mythology. To capture the essence of the piece, they used old newspaper, old wool, cardboard, ivy from trees and an old broom. Melt My Heart is inspired by global warming and the need for immediate action. The design consists of an old curtain, bubble wrap, cereal boxes, cardboard, old acrylic paint and plastic bottles. La Defense symbolises protection and in this case against COVID-19 and the increased use of masks and hygiene products in our environment. Using primarily face masks for this design, the team were able to produce a magnificent piece. Metamorpho is based on butterflies, capturing their beauty and grace. The design team accomplished this look by using recycled bedsheets, coke cans, lobster nets, CDs, old denim and placemats. Rewind was inspired from lockdown isolation, reminiscing on carefree times in the 1920s where flapper dancers enjoyed endless nights partying. This stunning design was created using a table runner, an old yoga mat, streamers, cassette tapes, plastic bags and gloves. Edwina the environmental fairy represents pollution in our environment. After conducting research, the team found the most commonly littered items and used those materials in their design. Some being catalogues, cardboard, plastic, egg cartons, sweet wrappers and more. A huge congratulations to each and every one of you. Like every year, we are absolutely blown away by the talent. The circular engineers of the future are certainly putting their stamp on fashion and sustainability. I'll be back tomorrow with the Southern Regional Finals. And don't forget, this Sunday, our grand final announcement is at 7pm. See you then.